Welcome back to Baldekina here in Farming Simulator 22. If you're uh, just coming into the series, there's a link to the playlist in the description below. And uh, if not, I'll catch you up. Well, I'll can, I can catch you up with what we did last time, but we're on, uh, this is about episode 21 now, so there's quite a bit. So check out the playlist if you're uh, just checking this out. Anyway, last time, it started on this big hay contract here. There's not a lot of work to do on the on our farm in the spring and summer because everything really is done so and this was the only contract there was so i picked up this contract for hay now last episode well i worked on mowing this and then uh tedding it and then now i'm coming through and windrowing it kind of getting towards the end of this contract last episode a large part of it was taken up when i flipped the adco adco tractor that we just got and uh well, anyway, got that uprighted. It's all fine. So I'm back here finishing this up. Catch you guys up. So I, got, I finally got the hang of this windrower. I've not used a windrower like this. And I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting some decent swaths here now. Once I kind of see how I want to use it to arrange them. And now that I'm using this, I kind of like I like this better than other windrowers I've used that put the grass out in the center. This Kicking this off to the side, it makes it a lot easier to blend swaths together so it kind of really leaves it up to you as to how big you want to make them to where you want to have them and such like that so just kind of doing this here still trying to get the hang of this where we want to put these swaths here and it won't be long before we're bailing and then as I said last time figuring out how exactly I want to get it down to the the sail point which I showed last time the sail point for this uh, contract where we're going or well, we are currently um, here right here in this grass field here in field three where we want to deliver these bales across the train track down here um, so the quickest route by far is to come down but that means driving through this forest here and uh, that's probably I'm gonna try we'll try the first trip that way because it's so much shorter than going all the way basically through two other well three other towns we have to go through uh Baldekina all the way down here through the town of Andresk and then into this all the way through this village down here so we're gonna try taking the forest road so that should be interesting but I'll see I've been down it a couple times and I wouldn't take a big rig down it but just a bale trailer should be fine so let's see I'm trying to get these these uh swaths set as good as I can you know I'd like to get them as even with as few um, curves as possible make it easier to track them with the baler and I'm trying to leave as few you know scraps and what else I'm trying to make real smooth lines through here if I can I might just start coming from the east because this western side is curvy well of course I could just cut a straight line down it because I don't like continuing to do these. The more I do these curvy uh, things, the more I'm going to miss bits. Yeah, you know what? Let's just cut this row down straight and fix that corner up later. Straight rows are simply going to be easier. Yeah, so I think... Uh, let's see. Let's tidy this up here. These bailing uh, contracts are pretty long jobs because there's so many steps to it, you know? But... Uh, there were there was literally no other contracts on the book and now uh, mostly got a handle on this. Let's see how how does that look? Yeah, that's uh, that's serviceable. That's serviceable. All right, now this one down here at the bottom is pretty big, so I'm not going to make it. That's like three passes worth of swath there. But this one right here, yeah, a lot of it's. Uh, just figuring out how I want to combine these and stuff like that. You know, again, with that outputting on the side like this, it's so much easier to shift these around and double them up. Make it so we can have, you know, we don't have to make as many trips with the baler, ideally. I just realized it's getting kind of late. 7.24 already? Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's summertime now. Here at the end of June. Got one more day in June, luckily. So we got one more day to finish this contract. Yeah, there is that. That is an assumption, but I'm pretty sure it's a safe assumption. I'm sure we have to the end of the month to finish the contract. Although this contract was here last month as well. I, I was not doing it, but then it was just like, well, there's really just nothing else to do on this 
in, in the summer here. You know what? I think I'm going to come. I like to come the other way for this. I'd rather Ted away from, or sorry, Windrow. I'd rather Windrow away from that swath than toward it. I'm afraid if I swath toward it, I might not get it perfect and have like a double peak swath that the the pickup on the baler might not, you know, might miss some on, you know. And for this contract, they're paying us after fees for re rental equipment, which of course this is rental equipment. After uh, after that, I believe the fee should be right about a little over $21,000. And that's gonna be great for our farm, you know, heading into midsummer. We're gonna want, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be looking for, well, we still need a harvester, but, uh, all right, so here what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this uh, straight south from here. This looks like not the right line. Let's see, let me back up here. Okay, I think this right here will be the right line. I think I want this row right here. This right here should be all right. Either way, I'm gonna cut straight south here and then I'll tidy up that leftover bit there. I wanna do straight rows, you know. That's a pretty monster baler too that they loaned us. It's a monster baler. And I already grabbed the baler and I did set it. I set it for the largest bales it can put out which is 240 centimeters. So, you know, I figure why not do the biggest bales we can, less trips, right? And I think it's starting to get a little bit not as light out here. I, I didn't really notice it was getting late in the evening or getting towards evening until just now. I kind of noticed the light out here is a little bit, um, yeah, fading just a little bit. There's my rear work lights. Plus, it is supposed to rain. That's right. It's been forecasting rain pretty much since afternoon. And here we are. It's coming on 8 o'clock. And I don't think it's supposed to rain at 8 o'clock. I think I checked, and it's not, but it could be soon. So I'm going to call this here. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to call this here. I'm going to head back to the house, get some rest. Come out here and finish this in the morning here. So also, let me shut the tractor down. Let's get these off. Last episode, of course, uh, when I flipped this tractor, it was in the process of loading our new silo. If you weren't here last episode, here's our new silo system that we have. I was loading this up with seeds and fertilizers. And now we got finally a place to keep our, 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 sorry, our seeds and our fertilizer. And yeah, ahead of harvest time. So here we'll have space to store our crops. For now, let's get some rest until the morning real quick. All right, back at it in the field. Morning time and let's see, we can check and see if there's anything good that we can use. Ooh, yes, actually we already have, I, I, I guess we know which harvester we're getting now because I already have a swath picker for it. And here on sale is a used corn header for it. And we're going to have a corn crop. So this right here is almost certainly a purchase. I mean, it's the most affordable harvester we can get. It's almost a sure purchase. So may as well go ahead and buy the corn header for it. And then, yeah. Wow, how about that? Now, let's see. What color? Oh, that is a good question. I think it's this color. Yeah, that looks about right. I, I, well, I'll try to color match it, you know, um, as long as I can. I think this is the color I picked for the uh, the swath picker. If not, I'll go back and fix that later. But yeah, $8,000. We're going to need that anyway. So how about that? Something that we can use. All right, so let's get back at this field here. Now, let's see. We're in the south end. Oh, no, we're in the north end. Oh, wait. I'm all turned around. I left the tractor here. I turned around. We're on the south end. Yeah. All right. Let's come back up here. Let's just uh, head over from the side here. That is a big pile of hay there. Well, the baler will do it. Well, we'll do another row, and then I'll get some baling down. That way we can. We're not doing the same thing forever. Let's see, we want to come down over here on the 
West End. Uh, oh, the West End crept a lot closer than it was last time. We're only going to right here. Then we finish this row. I'll go and grab the baler and we'll get some baling done. See how that goes. See how much as we can get delivered. Yeah, I would like to yeah start the baling before we... Uh, once we start the baling, we'll really see the contract progress. And uh, let us know how much more actually has to be done. Of course, there'll be leftover hay. I totally forgot about that. We'll have leftover hay. Now, we don't have any use for hay on our farm because we just got pigs. Yeah, I don't think we have any use for hay. Speaking of pigs, oh, I'll check on them. Uh, they're good for this month. The months are so long, I forgot. Yeah, I already checked on them this month. It was a couple of videos ago, but it's still this month. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's leave this up here in the grass and try out this big baler that they gave us or loaned us or that we rented, however you want to put it, for the job. Tons of equipment. It took about three trips down here to get all this equipment down here. 240 centimeters. All right. Well, let's put this guy to work. Big bales. There's some big, big piles of hay out here. Big piles of hay out here. I'm going to have to take this slow. Might have to kind of chip away at this pile here. But I want to get every bit of hay off this field. Yeah, this is going to take a couple passes, some of these. I want to get every bit of hay off this field because we can use any bit of profit that we can get because they're simply not, you know, how contracts go. They're not going to need all of it. Yeah, I know it's for contract work. I'm getting back on the field. Some of these are going to take a couple passes, so I'll just go ahead and do a small little jobby up here. Now, I am uh, since, uh, since last episode... Um, and this has definitely altered. Well, let's just take this from here. I've uh, my play style are kind of yeah has had to change a bit because I'm using steering wheel and pedals and controls and everything now, which is a little bit different for control. So this is going to help me practice my steering and give me a good workout <laughs> on my left arm as we come around here. And force feedback. Yeah, it's it's not something that you get with. Uh, Xbox controller, which is what I was using. Now I got a steering wheel and pedals. So I really get the. Uh... Yeah, now it's actually tiring doing this. <laughs> there we go. Come down here and get this. I knew this corner was going to be kind of a pain. All right, that's good for here. Let's start heading down. Let's get some major row action done here. That corner was a little bit. Lots of circles. The whole corner is all tire tracked up. Let's get down here. Yeah, get some real work done. Some of these windrows are going to be exciting. Well, exciting because some of them are big. You'll see the bales just cranking out. Some of these windrows have got like, some of these swaths that have like three passes worth of hay in them. Now, here's where we get to test the brakes. Brake, 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 brake. And back. Oops. Wait a second. No way. I, did I just seriously just do that? Yeah, I totally did. Why didn't you guys say anything? My baler wasn't on. I I wasn't paying attention. I got to the end of the row. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I got to the end of the row. I slammed on the brakes and turned the machine off. Well, what I thought was turning the machine off, and it came on. Oh, my gosh. I really just do that. I feel like an... All right, well, I'll just cut that out of the video and pretend that never happened. All right, seriously, though. Back up we go. Now we should see some bales cranking out the back of this guy. And I missed some there. That's why, uh, yeah, these pickups, these pickups could stand to be like about a foot wider, you know? I didn't want to make them too wide. Anyway, that's okay. So after this, we'll, uh, it's another $21,000. Now, did I buy something? I seem to think I bought... Oh, yeah. Pfft, wow. I am forgetful today. We bought a corn header. Well, I looked up there, and I'm missing about $9,000. Yeah, it's because we just bought a corn header. Wow. 
It's not that late, I promise you. It's not that late. Alright. There's that. And where is... Which button? Uh, there we go. Kick some bales out there. Nah, they may not take it. Any kind of grain or root crops they'll take. Because right now they're eating wheat. Which I don't like, but it's, it's just all we had to give them, you know. Now, next year... Well, let's see. Yeah, this winter or next year. And that's why we're growing the crops that we're growing on the farm, of course. If you all remember, we're growing corn and potatoes so that we can make good quality pig feed. Um, yeah, next year they'll be eating. They'll be eating right. But right now they're just living off of wheat. When I get to the end of this row, we'll uh, I'll go grab that trailer and we'll take down a load. Kind of mix this up. See if we can find our way to the bale the bale, what's it called? Bale cell point? Whatever it's called. Let's see if we can find our way through the forest down there. And that is a cool mower. Driving that mower last episode, that was, that thing is cool. It pretty much has like, it's one of, you know, like zero turn radius, just, that thing was, uh, it's a nice, nice mower. We've got just like a little bush hog at our farm, which is uh, all that we need, but that thing's pretty cool. All right. Now, let's get some of these bales picked up here. And get a load down to the bale delivery point. Oh, I wish I had a bumper on this. I'd like to... Yeah, I'm definitely one to hit these with the bumper and knock them. Yeah, like that, basically. Okay, well, we'll use the wheel until I get caught up on one. There we go. Let's head down and... You know, I didn't count how many we uh, bales we made, but I didn't even think about that. I'll see if we can fill the trailer. Maybe, maybe not. This holds what, like 14, I think? I think this holds 14. Oh, come on, bale. Yeah, it's way easier with a bale pusher on the front of the tractor. That looks like I'll probably have to bale some more before we make a run. I was eager to get some bales down there and see what kind of progress we made on the contract. I wonder if I could... You think? Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, those mirrors, yeah, I haven't fixed that. I'll ha I gotta exit back to the... I apologize for that mirror thing. I put it to five mirrors, but it looks like I might have to turn it up more. I don't know why I would, but... Well, it kind of kills immersion in, in first person. And that's one reason you don't usually see me driving in first person because, uh, oh, there we go with that. Um, the steering wheel thing when you got when you're playing with the controller, the steering wheel flies all over the place. But uh, you'll see me driving in first person more now because, yeah. Now let's see if I can do this maneuver from the cab. Yup. Oh, that's so cool. All right. And uh, normally I still res uh, keep it in third person though, just so I can uh, see my work with. All right, anyway, back to the game here. What we're doing. You know, I think that's all the ones that we had bailed. How many is that? Ten? All right. That's okay. Let's get back on the... You know, let's finish up the wind rowing, actually, because the, uh, the bailing was actually pretty fun. Wind rowing is... Fu actually, this is really not been bad this has actually been kind of a fun contract except for uh just all you know the overwhelming amount of steps that it takes you know mowing tedding windrowing but now that there's uh not so much left it's not so bad all right let's head back out here okay we're back in windrowing mode and you know what i well i've been waiting to see if that one particular harvester would go on sale and it hasn't and the chances of that happening are really slim but now that we've got two pieces for it, we're pretty set on which harvester we're getting. Maybe, just maybe, we'll pick that guy up too. You know what? Let's go ahead and take this windrow into the next one. Why not? Yeah, and you know, um, it's by far the uh, most affordable harvester. Maybe we'll just buy it new. Let's see, harvesters. Um... Yeah, this guy right here, and it's kind of our only option. 
mm, this is within our, this could be, but it would take all of our money and everything with this. We already have a couple pieces for it. Maybe we'll just go ahead and buy it and this will be perfectly fine for our farm. Maybe uh, that could be a fun purchase for today. It's always fun to buy things. I was in the store looking at uh, harvesters and I already bought two pieces for the Neva, but we'll have the money. We'd have the money for a, a bigger harvester. Well, I wonder how much bigger it is actually, you know, how much bigger is this other one? Um, let's see. It's probably got the same width headers. Well, but with more horsepower, it could handle wider ones if it does. Yeah, and it does, actually. If we bought this, dang it, and I just bought a header for it, too. Well, the header would probably work on this one. I like this one better anyway. It looks cooler. Um, I can see if those headers will work on this. We'll have the money for this. I didn't think we'd have the money for this guy. I don't know. I like to make cool purchases. You know, I bought those parts when they were on sale for the Neva, but uh, that uh, that TKZ, it just uh, I'll think about it some. But with 250 horsepower, we can push a lot uh, more. Well, yeah, a little, a lot more everything with that guy. Let's see. Actually, that is a big pile of grass. I ain't touching that with this swather. It'll just make it into a mountain. Uh, yeah, kind of like that, actually. Well, that's the way the thing goes. Well, one more pass anyway. We got it. These bailing jobs, they just always end up being such a big task. But we got uh, th four more bales to throw on the trailer. And then we'll run it down. I'll, I'm looking forward to... Oh, this is going to be a monster pile. I'll have to chip away at. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's get this up and fold it. I think we're done with it. I'll park it over here, but I don't think we need this anymore. I'm looking forward to finding out exactly... Uh, yeah, how we're going to get to the... Where are we at? Oh, are we on the west end? I get turned around. Don't even notice where we're at. Yeah, we're on the southwest corner. I guess I turned around doing loops up and down that field. I didn't see where we were at. Let's get over these. Whoa, okay, that, that's a lot of grass. Let's go around this. I've flipped one tractor too many for the last couple episodes, and that is one. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh. Well, it felt like the tractor might go over there. I was taking that turn with that big heavy windrower behind us. All right, well, that was a fun trip up the field. Let's get this baler or this bale trailer back here. Oh, no, the baler, yeah, yeah. But we've got enough to take a load down to the bale cell point. So when I get to the end of this row, we'll go grab the trailer, see if we can find our way through the forest. Might just pull up the map, make sure we get there okay. I've only been through the forest up here a couple times. Now I might have to back up and get one of these bales. Well, where's the other one? I don't see it. Oh, you know, if I hadn't said anything, you would have thought that was really ninja, huh? <laughs> uh, I didn't even see it. I couldn't see it at all. I shouldn't have said anything. Just pretend like I did that on purpose. No. Oh. Come on, Bale. Yeah, we're about... Actually, this is kind of where we want to be. Let's turn this off. All right. Can we fit through here? I say we can. Now, this is the road we want to be on. Thereabouts. Let's see. We want to go. <clears throat> Should be a right turn up here. We want to go this way. Basically, once we get past, yep, the railroad tracks are right there. And we want to hang a left and cut through the forest. Oh, 
Oh, a little bumpy here. Let's see, where's our left turn? There it is. Big fields down here. There's some big, whopping 20-some hectare fields down here south of the railroad tracks. It'll take us to a little town up here. Well, once we get through the woods, there's a cool little town. Thank you. Taking you all down there. Why? Yeah, we went down there to go water. Boy, that was that was a mistake. I had to borrow that. We got the something hung up. Yeah, I had to borrow that other tractor to pull the trailer. All right, I think we can make it through this. Well, I mean, yeah, we can make it through this. It's not like it's it's a four wheel drive road or anything. It's just uh, getting lost. I think we want to go this way. That's yeah, a little rough. A little cabin back here. <clears throat> I've been down here before. I should see if there's any collectibles there. I may have looked before. This is the town up here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Better Yozovka. Uh, it's the name of the town, Yozovka. And we are going up here to the right somewhere, I think. Here, I'll just pull us out here so I can see where we're going better. We're going. Ah, up here, I think. Oh, I see, I see big piles of... Oh, there's no way around. Well, now I know. I know where we're going, though. I know where we're going. Now I do. I thought I could hook around the other side of this field. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ha. Huh. Well, this will help a little bit. That will be a little help. I haven't searched this town yet, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. Hey, let's not drive off that. I wonder what's down. What is down there? I haven't been back here a whole lot. I don't know. Could be the uh, edge of the area. It's a pretty small town coming through with this big tractor. I think the where we want to back these into is this barn up here by that big pile of hay up on the right. Look out, people. Coming through, coming through. Nice and careful. Uh, easy does it. That's. I didn't mean to back up that much. All right. Let's see here. There we go. And we get the right place. I mean, there is that. Yep. Let's pull forward a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting some progress on the contract. How about that? So, 60% transported. And we found our way through the forest just fine. I didn't even have to pull up the map once. Let's get this. Let that fold back up. All right. Now, let's see if we can find our way back out of here. Ooh, this is a narrow little place here, isn't it? Basically, we just got to point ourselves back to the woods. I love these little towns here like this. I love to live in a little place like this. I think it's a cool little town out in the country. We'll have a little garden farm. 68% complete on the contract. We make this turn. Yep. 
Whoa, we got pedestrians out for a stroll. Alright, well, we got work to do, though. We got bailing to do. Alright, I'm gonna track back through this town. Well, now nah, you guys hang with me on the. This is kind of a fun drive, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm going yet. I don't want to take up all y'all's time doing this, but I think it's kind of. This is a fun drive. Is this the right road? Well, this is the way we're going. There's the forest up there. Where's the way we turned? You know, let's we'll stick around. We're at the back of this building. Stick towards the back of town. The forest side. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. I'll just cut that out. All right. <laughs> Through here. Yeah, I didn't see. I must have caught a fence there. That didn't happen. Don't worry about that. Okay, and we'll just keep to the left through the forest. I know we went by this building. Yeah. I'll keep my eyes peeled for more collectibles. Before, uh, yeah, earlier during the spring, I went around, did a sweep in my own time. I picked up about 19 more of them, but there's still, see, so that with the one we just picked up, there's still uh, 54, no, yeah, 54 left. No, 64, sorry. There's still 64 remaining on this map. Because we got 36 now. That's a cool little road. Now, we're just looking for... Whoa, big hill. Looking for the train tracks. All right. I'll, I'll run the next one on my own now that I know where I'm going. But I wanted to take you guys with me. Whoa, bumpy. See if I can find where we're going now that we're here. Uh, let's just keep heading north. Oh, yeah, we crossed this bridge up here. I remember this. I remember crossing this bridge. I don't typically have the best sense of direction in the world. There we go. We are back. That was fun. Ah, uh, super fun. All right. <laughs> Let's get some more bales here. We got to run the baler. Yeah, I mean, of course, I knew that. We got to run the baler. So I, I did some thinking about it while I've been doing this, and I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy the, the Harvester that uh, I've been planning on buying. There is that nicer one that's, whoops, wrong side, other side of the baler. There's a nicer Harvester that we could afford, but we've already got two headers for, we'll, we'll, just, we'll buy the small Harvester, and that'll give us something to save up for as a bigger, better Harvester. I mean, that's always the fun thing, right, is working toward the equipment that you want, I mean size if we get the bigger one uh, it's gonna drain all our money so far we've taken out zero loans and uh, all the work on uh, Baldakina here we've taken out zero loans I like to keep it that way I've kept a close eye on the money and only uh, done what I need to to get us by always found work when we needed it always been able to afford what we need when I can get it so We'll get the small harvester, and then uh, we can work towards getting a bigger one later. I'm going to get some more baling done here. Wow, this windrow. This is one of the big windrows. Look at those bales just cranking out the back of this thing. There's a lot of hay in this swath. I might... I'm probably not even getting it all. Yeah, it's like wider than the pickup is. I was trying to avoid that, but... You know, I got some big mounds of grass, or hay rather, up here. Big old mounds. So much of this stuff, I gotta go back over, because... Well, I mean... I made him big, but... Uh, the downside of that is... I gotta go back over some of it. But we don't gotta get every scrap. I mean, I definitely like to have some left over for us to sell. But... Some of this stuff's not worth getting. You know, hay doesn't sell for that much. We're making a pretty decent profit off this contract, just for the 21000 that they're paying us. <laughs> We're just pushing this bale like all the way down the field. Yeah, well, the tractor they gave us didn't come with a bale pusher, so I guess this guy, this bale here, he's just along for the ride. I was trying to see if I could fill up, you know, one more bale. And I think there's enough scraps that I can do that. And then I'll kick the bales out and... It's got, and surely that'll be enough for this this uh, contract. 
Whoo, there we go. Yeah, there was, there's still a little bit left, but uh, yeah, it's not even worth getting. I, I just, that that's the last bale. There's maybe like 2% of a bale left in that field. I, I just, I got so close to filling up that last bale and I was like, man, if only I could just get a little bit more. And uh, well, we got it. We got it. Let's fold this guy up. You're done with the baler. All we got to do now is, uh, well, it's all the fun part now. Just picking him up and driving through the woods. All the fun stuff. Where did I park that trailer? Oh, yeah, it's way down there. That's right. Let's get down here and get this trailer. There's a lot of bales out there. I mean, oof, wow. Yeah. Dang. How the hell did there get to be so many bales? That's like two loads, maybe. Yeah, that's got to be two loads. Well, that's cool. I definitely know the way now. Let's get these bales picked up. You know what? This is fun, but this is faster. Been at this job for a while now. That's okay, though, because there's nothing to do back at our farm. Our farm is really good. I know I don't think I've been down there this episode. I think I've been down here the entire episode. But last episode, we went to the farm. Oh, it's beautiful down there, especially when you get down to... Uh, well, it's not our field, but the, uh, whoops, I ran right over that. That's yeah, okay. That field just south of our farm, my uncle's field, the sorghum field. Oh, it's beautiful driving up that field because you got sorghum on the left and that big canola field, I think it is, on the right. And, well, here in a month or two, it'll be all red on one side, yellow on the other. It's really, it's very beautiful driving down there. And our, our farm looks nice, all the crops growing in next month which I guess is tomorrow next month everything will be bigger and everything today uh, in this here today's episode I want to get this we're gonna get this contract turned in get our money and uh, such like that come on little bail there we go yeah I want to get this done and turned in and may as well go ahead and buy our harvester because the chances of it one of those you know a used SK5 Neva going on sale. The chances of that are about nothing. We've already got two attachments for it, you know, so. It's a little, uh, you know, it's from the 70s, you know, but that's okay. It'll give us uh, a new flashy harvester. Is something that we'll just have to work for. At least, you know, we've, we've got the money to get a harvester, you know, and then some. All right, two more bales here, and then I'll do a. As long as we're on the opposite end of the field, I'll do a quick guesstimation on the way, on the way to the road as to how many more tr uh, trips we need. So we got f uh, six bales there, so I can see six. Uh, actually, I only see six bales. Just those right there. I don't see any others. Unless they haven't popped in yet. Well, either way, only one more trip for sure. Oh, eight. Unless there's one off in the woods somewhere, which could be the case. I thought I saw one kick out in the woods or something. Either way, eight, possibly nine bales. So, yeah, one more trip. Let's take this. Uh, let's see what this looks like from this perspective this time going down here beautiful countryside out here is so gorgeous out here I think it is oh bumpy 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 remember when I got that <laughs> I had that fertilizer that trailer full of fertilizer I got it stuck under one of those Oof, they don't maintain uh, roads out out here in the country like to do in some places yeah those underpasses they are not even in one of them. We got that trailer stuck. Man, it took me forever to get that thing out of there. I remember that. that was a while ago. So we... Wow, you know, this is kind of easier in first person. I can't even see through here to see where we're going. Yeah, you know, this was... Jeez. And this is... Yeah, when I spoke with the forest, being tough to get through, that's what I was talking about. This is the way to get through here. Yeah, you can't see the camera out there like that. You just can't see where you're going. 
Well, now that we know where we're going, I'll get this to the bail cell point over in town, the little village over there, and I'll meet you there. All right, well, we are at the bail drop-off point. Let's get this backed up here and see how this does for us on contract completion. I should have it backed up to the right place. I mean, I know I'm at the right place. I mean, like, I don't have to pull forward, I don't think. Oh. Contract finished. All right, yeah, we may as well just sell what's left because uh, we don't have any use for hay. So that leaves, so we got 6,000 there. Now let's go grab the rest of the bills before we turn the contract in. And you know, I think I know an easier way out of this place. Um, can I turn around up here? Well, where there's a will, there's a way. If I can whip the trailer around here, we can just go back out the way we came in. If I can get the tractor around on the other side of the trailer. There we go. I should be able to back this around here. Yeah. Perfection. Whoa, look out for the pedestrian. It would have been a quicker way, to be fair, if not for the people of the village not being very mindful of large farm equipment. I don't know where the button for my horn is, so. All right. Now, we would just, it's kind of a straight shot. That's why I wanted to go this way. It's kind of a straight shot out. Yeah. And easier to go into this view here. All right, so we just got, uh, not this way. We just got one more trip. Yeah, we already made six grand and the rest of it's all ours too. I totally, you know, I always forget about that. I always forget. It's not just 21 grand. Well, I didn't know how much the extra was going to be, but we're going to walk out definitely ahead of a game. I mean, we could even buy that better harvester. I just hate to because I just bought that corn header earlier in this episode, you know. And I already checked. We paid eight something for it. And if I were to sell it back, we'd only get like six for it. Plus, I just bought. Uh, you know, I don't want to sell something I just bought. That's not very cool. So it's okay. Um, oops, here's our turn. <laughs> Let's not miss the turn this time. So the way I see it, you know, we're going to buy that, that cheaper harvester. That'll give us more money to play around with. Maybe even get... Uh, I don't know, a new tipper or something. Or anything we want, really. I'm going to go back up here to the field and get the rest of these bales. All right, and here's the last of the bales, and this is pure profit for us here. This is going to be all our profit for the farm. Once I get this, I'm going to cut the wheel here. Yeah, I'm going to have to straighten the tractor out a bit. Eh, close enough there. Close enough, and we're, a, we're right in line for a straight shot back to the store. That's where I left our truck. And let's see, did I hit the point right? I think so. And that's that's all profit. So we made a total of, uh, yeah, right about almost 16,000 probably. Right about 16,000 in profit. That's good. I don't want to turn in the contract just yet because we are in a rented vehicle. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd probably just <laughs> dis disappear out from under us. So um, let's get back to back to town. That's the easy part, um, I guess. We'll just head this direction out of town. And the store is wait. That's a, that's a different train track. I was like, wait a second. Never mind. That was a different train track. Here we go. Back at the store. Our truck waiting for us here. And we may as well take delivery on our new combine. Because I'm sure that's the one we're getting. The one I've been planning on getting. And did I get the color right on the header? Well, I'll check on that once we get up here. I'm not 100%. I'll make sure everything's right. Whew. Boy, that was a tiring job. It was really tiring. Did I get the color right on this? 
Nah. That's okay. We'll, uh, tweak that out. Yeah, so let's go ahead and collect our money for this. Yeah, that was a seriously tearing job. My left arm is killing me. All that turning around to get the, to get the hay. Oh, let's see. Contract. Collect. All right, and that leaves us with a total of $99,000, which is about where I was at, right? Yeah, that's about where I was at before I had those silos put in in our farm. Look at our little truck. I love this new truck. It is so great. It's so quiet, though. It almost sounds like an electric truck. I love that thing. Um, right, so, Harvester, I wanted to uh, get this guy here, so... Yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to buy this one. Also, this one does a really good job at, well, a lot of things. It'll save us a lot of money, too. We can get something like this or even bigger down the road. Or that guy, maybe. Who knows? Actually, well, actually, that guy's within our price range, even. Yeah, but we've already got stuff for this little guy here, and that's... Um, do we need any other equipment for it? Let me see here. Um yeah let me have a look at these we're gonna want this guy here i think we're gonna want this guy i'm pretty sure so yeah some of the equipment for this is just you got to know how to do it now i think the color we we're using is actually this color i think that's the color i should have gotten the corn header in we're going to go ahead and buy that. And. All right, let me get some of these options set here for us. Now, this here, we want to get the right equipment on the back. Now, this can be a little confusing. You notice I picked up that one piece for it. I think this is the back we want. And the thing is, because we're want, you're going to want to do bales with this guy, too. <clears throat> well, I have plans eventually, too. And actually, we can actually do that now. So. Well, I was just thinking, we're going to have money left over. We'll have money for a good mower. We're going to be using this for bales. So I think that's the rear equipment that we want. Yep. Right here. And I'll show you guys how that works when we get to the harvesting bit. All right. There was only about 12 different color selections, but I think I got all looking really spiffy. And it's only going to cost us about 24 grand for this harvester. That's great. It leaves us a lot of money to do other things. That's really, I, I know this episode ran a little longer. Actually, I'm not sure how long it'll be after I trim it down. But uh, thanks, guys, for sticking with me through this. I wanted to get this harvester all set up and purchase that. Yeah, let's check out our new harvester. I'm eager to see this guy. Ooh, look, isn't she pretty? Yeah, I'm going to want to get a different color for the, the corn header to match it now that I know what color ended up making it. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, it, it's kind of a... It's old looking. We'll, we'll get us a new harvester. Uh, one of these days, where the way things are going, we you know we'll be able to upgrade pretty soon. All right, now what we're going to want to do, yeah, let's uh, repaint our corn header to match. That's a pretty cool harvester, and this thing does a lot more than just harvest too. You saw the equipment when I was uh, configuring it; I probably included some of that in there. Well, it's going to do bales as well. It's going to do more than just harvest. Yeah, let's get this up here. Let's recolor this. I, it had been so long since I picked the color I wanted to use and I forgot, but when it came time to buy this corn header, I just plum forgot. Uh, we, it needs repairs anyway. So let's just get that repainted. Now, with this, this piece of equipment I bought, it actually goes up inside the rear and it helps us uh, make bales. I think you need this bit back here to do bales. So let's go back here and pick this up. There we go. There we go. And then uh, that over there, that's a swath, uh, swathing header. We'll have to, the swath picker, we'll have to get that in a later run. But uh, for now, we got this. Now yeah, we got this here. Man, that looks nice too. Whoops. Yeah, this guy looks super nice. Look at that. I mean, it's old, but wow, that's a nice piece of equipment. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I uh, got a lot done. Well, we got uh, that 
contract done. And, oh, yeah, you can see down there by the tachometer it's got a thing for bales. Yeah, this will pick up bales as well. Um, and it should also, everything should be good in the current configuration. I'll get it to work. You'll see. Um, it's going to be a mean green machine because we're also going to get, um, here's what we're going to do. I was about to sign off, but then I'm going to show you um, what we're also going to do here. Oh, let's see. Should be here. Um, yeah, right here. So we're going to buy this too. Wow. Yeah. See, it's a good thing that actually this, this harvester is going to serve as well. In fact, um, I did a lot of research and work and everything preparing for this series, believe it or not. And this harvester is actually good to have all around because it is so versatile. So even if we upgrade, let's see what, which one is it? Even if we upgrade harvesters, we're still going to want to keep this one for lots of reasons. Um, let's go ahead and get this the right color. And this over here, we're going to put that color there. Yeah. So sinking another 10 grand. I just remembered, I'm glad I want this because in my uh, research phase for this series, um, you want this harvester and you'll see when it comes harvest time. Uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some swath cropping, uh, which this map is set up for. Uh, what we're gonna do is so with our wheat, we're actually gonna mow our wheat with this mower, and then uh, it'll drop it in swaths, and then we'll pick it the swaths up with this. We'll actually get more yield, and that'll uh, lay back down straw, and then we can run and it'll collect straw at the same time it does that. So that when we run through and harvest the wheat, we'll be harvesting the wheat actually with this pickup header. That's why you notice we don't have a wheat header out here. Yeah, we don't have a regular grain header. We won't need one. We'll mow it with the mower, pick up the swaths with this. So it'll pick up wheat and it'll create bales at the same time. This is a great machine. And of the machines uh, that you can get, this is actually one of the best because it'll kind of do it all. So even when we get a better harvester, you follow me, we're still going to want this guy. This thing handles multitasking like... A beast. Yeah. Russell Mash. They make good stuff. All right, guys. So I'm going to catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot for following along and everything. I'm, oh, I can't wait to get this beautiful machinery here to work. In the next episode here in Baldacana. Thanks a lot.